before the video starts, guys, I'm giving away five battle passes. So therefore, comment down below what you actually want to win. Make sure to subscribe. These are the best competitive settings in season three. I'm not only going to cover the best in-game settings, but also the best search resolution, the best in-game sense to improve your mechanics, the best monitor settings to make your game look as good as possible, the best NVIDIA settings, and of course, also additional steps to make your game run super smooth. And when it comes down to the best competitive Fortnite settings, guys, now I want you to actually go into your settings. And first of all, under resolution, I am you're playing on native, but something like 1720 times 1080, 1650 times 1080, or 1440 times 1080 work perfect. By the way, make sure to check out my TikTok, guys, because I cover a bunch of resolutions over there as well. Please think you gotta turn off. My frame rate limit, I actually put exactly 3 FPS underneath my maximum refresh rate in my game user settings themselves, which you can, by the way, get from my official website as well. The rendering mode on performance mode if you are on Nvidia or Intel. If you are right now on an AMD card, guys, please make sure to utilize DirectX 12. For my brightness, I got it on 109%, user interface contrast 1, and for the first time actually since a bunch of season, guys, my colorblind mode on Tritanope and not Protanope. Tritanope just simply looks the best on the Strength 7, guys. You can see it here in comparison with all of the other colorblind modes. It really pops out the most and gives you all of these vibrant and nice colors. Then once we continue, guys, your 3D resolution, you want to keep on 100%. You don't want your game to look like Minecraft. And viewing distance, I got actually on near, guys. Even here in this, like, newer, wider areas, you could maybe put it to medium, but I still gotta say you can see everything just like this NPC walking around there. You still have full-on vision, and that's, like, how much? 122 meters, so therefore more and enough. Textures on low and meshes, of course, on low as well. Then for your game settings, guys, please make sure to put your matchmaking region directly on the region where you're from. Don't put it on auto because it might connect you with a server, which is more stable but further away, resulting in higher ping. Also, make sure to configure actually your preferred item slot, guys. This is one of the most broken settings in Fortnite. Let's say you land on multiple weapons, you know directly which one to pick. For my game UI settings, guys, these are all my settings. My HD scale is 75%. On my mouse and keyboard settings, I'm playing on 7% on 800 DPI. Most Fortnite pros right now play on anything between 5 to 8% on 800 dpi this is really the sweet spot for like insanely fast mechanics still being able to apply peace control properly then for my custom diagonals guys my forward diagonal angle is 70 strafe angle is 90 and backwards diagonal angle is 180 this gives me the best double movement settings in fortnite in my opinion a ton of pros also use it and therefore it works really well and then for your audio settings what you want to do is put your sound quality on low guys and as well enable visualize sound effects as mentioned you can get the whole config on my official website and today's video guys we're going to be using the nvidia profile inspector in order to get even less input delay in Fortnite. You can by the way find this tool on my official website and what you want to make sure in the first place is make sure to select global driver profile base profile. If you want to revert any of these settings there's always this small icon on top so therefore you can do it there if you maybe changed something by accident. The first thing under sync and refresh rate now guys is the frame rate limiter and this one you gotta put to 30 fps because there's literally no reason to have any background applications run on anything higher than 30 fps or the lowest. Your frame rate limiter you gotta put exactly 5% above your maximum refresh rate of your monitor and then next up for g-sync guys I actually have to tell you that I don't have G-Sync enabled on any of my monitors so therefore I don't really recommend it to you because in my opinion it actually makes the game feel a lot less smoother so therefore I actually want you to copy all of these settings here now which would be off, disallow, disallow, off and off. The next up guys we have maximum pre-rendered frames and this one is super important that you actually put it to 1. This is gonna help you out a lot with syncing. Then your preferred refresh rate you of course gotta put to the highest possible and for my ultra low latency settings I like to keep it on ultra guys. I know there are some pros who have it on on but for me personally ultra works the best. And then finally, vertical sync, you gotta make sure to put onto forced off. Then we gotta scroll down a little bit until we are actually in the texture filtering section, guys. And in here now, we can find texture filtering negative LOD bias. And this one, you gotta make sure to put to allow. Straight up under it, we have texture filtering quality. And this one, you gotta put to high performance. Once we're done with that, we're gonna scroll down a little bit more until we can find actually CUDA force P to state, which is a power savings mode for your GPU. So therefore, this one, you wanna make sure to disable 100% as well. And then finally, we have power management mode. And this one, you gotta put to prefer maximum performance. And once we're done with these, we're gonna scroll down a little bit more until we can find the other section. And in here now, we should find memory allocation policy. This one you gotta open up and make sure to put the memory allocation policy moderate pre allocation. This is going to improve your performance on your system even more. And finally, we're gonna click on apply changes. And since we did all these changes for a global driver profile, it's gonna get applied for all the games which you play on your gaming PC. And for this next step, guys, go into your Windows search bar and type in the power until you can find edit power plan. Open it up. Then you're gonna go under power options and make sure the ultimate performance mode is actually enabled then we're gonna click under change plan settings and go here again under change advanced power setting once this new window here popped up guys we're going to search in the first place actually for processor power management open it up guys and for the minimum processor state you want to put a hundred percent so that your cpu is basically running at its highest potential then we're gonna go as well on the maximum processor state and put it to a hundred percent as well and now the most important part guys is actually processor performance core parking over utilization this one we're gonna open up and put to a hundred percent as well because this is gonna prevent any any of your CPU 
video calls actually being parked. This is not only gonna ensure you better performance in gaming, but also a smoother experience with Windows itself. So therefore, make sure to set this one to 100%, then we're gonna close processor power management and go over to PCI Express. And here under link between power management, we're gonna open it up and make sure to put this setting here actually under off and not moderate power savings or maximum power savings straight up off and then we're gonna hit apply. The gaming VPN is actually the best method to reduce your ping in any competitive games you guys are trying to play and no ping would be my number one recommendation. They also have a built-in mode to reduce your input delay on any keyboard as well as some of the best core tweaks everyone should apply on their gaming PC. And with the code right now you're on screen you can even get 30% off and they have as well a 7 day trial version so therefore you can try it out and see if you like it. And of course guys the link is in my description. And now for the best monitor settings guys what I want you to do is basically open up your normal monitor menu. Once we're in here guys we should have a bunch of modes but we don't want to actually utilize any of these presets we want to go down to color like equalization you're going to put to 10 color vibrance to 10 as well low blue light i have personally on seven guys of course the higher you go the better it is theoretically for your eyes gamma i put on medium which is free and color temperature actually on bluish this looks the best in my opinion i don't really like reddish i also don't like here some user defined ones so therefore i just simply use your bluish then we gotta go down to picture guys and if your monitor has any sort of these like sync mode something like ama you gotta make sure to actually put this one on premium this is gonna help you to sync your pictures so you have no motion blur or possibly ghosting on your monitor additionally if you have a zoe monitor you most likely also gonna have Diag here right now here on the 360 Hertz model I actually have Diag plus which I have set to premium then for my brightness I have it on 85 contrast on 50 sharpness on 6 and then you just simply have to save your setting 